Might have to. Yo. Switch it. So, you guys have been working hard, and I think it's time you earn your stripes. This is gang initiation. What was that? Oh, what is this? It, what, what, what is this you guys ask? Oh, you know, this that uh, that new soon to be drop. <laughs> Ballistic merch, you know what I'm saying? You guys get more info soon. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to part two of the fuel system install. Last time we left off with the front portion of the, the fuel setup. Today, we're gonna do the rear. What we have here is the AP1 fuel pump hanger. And then we have the Wabro. I believe this is the 525 that I got. And then the SOS um, Wabro. Uh, fuel pump kit that comes with the um, It's a machine bracket, so it's a lot nicer than the OEM plastic crap and then we got This uh, fuel pump uh, wiring kit from seamless auto care so Let's get to it All right, so first things first we're gonna remove this little fuzzy crap from the OEM fuel tank because I like to make it look cleaner. Um, because to me, I don't know what this is there for, um, but it looks to me like it's a fire hazard. Let's prove to see if this is a fire hazard. <laughs> Lewis, what did you say earlier, Lewis? Probably fire retardant. Huh? Saying, it's still not on fire, right? I mean, just saying. <laughs> Look how quick it turns itself off. Yeah? yeah? Look at that, buddy. It's not turning off, buddy. So, yeah. We're gonna get rid of that crap. I'm gonna have my brother work some magic. This is how you remove it. With the CRC brake clean, but you gotta get the non-chlorinated ones. Spray this edge. Yep. Ooh, get it. And then you can just Dang. see that. Dang. Look at that. Yeah, it just come off. Dang, son. Feel it. Dang, son. This is how you remove hair. <laughs> <laughs> so we got it off. Look how clean that is. Sheesh. Ish. So first things first, I think we're going <clears> to <throat> change out the, the fuel pump. Oh, <laughs> she's a dirty girl. She's dirty, dirty. Oh, shit. All right. Seven years worth. Crazy, we can't do that. All right. All right. How would we do that? A few moments later. Done. done. We're done. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in to today's episode. See you guys next time. Peace. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's racial. Hey, Kaden. Shoot! It was okay. funny until you did it. <laughs> I'll break it. I haven't just yet. Just know. loosen them. All you gotta do is just break. Yeah. So, I guess while they're doing that, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the, the Walbro fuel pump. So, what you wanna do is you wanna pop this clip off first. And get this off. 
then you want to undo this harness. And then you want to get this little clip off. What you want to do is you want to kind of break this loose because after a while it's stuck on there. All right, so with the SOS kit, um, we have to remove this connector and take the pins out. And they noted that it's very important not to just clip this due to the length of it. So we have to pull the terminals out. All right, so you have to put it in and then kind of push it down and then it'll come out. There you go. So with the uh, seamless auto care um, wiring, what we have to do is drill right here, right here, and right here. That way we can run a negative and positive post and then it'll go to um, the relay and then the relay out to the battery. <laughs> <laughs> Tighten it to where so this stays stationary. Okay. So you want the oh, bolt out? This is the same guy delivered me last time. All right, so what are we doing now? Well, we are figuring out to keep this stationary. I need a socket. Oh, 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 Louis, you're the man. <laughs> it's me, Roboito. <laughs> <laughs> Let's install it now. As you guys can see, I put the butt connectors on there. Right. So these only go in one way. So we gotta clock it, right? All right. All right, after using excessive retard strength, we finally got it in. This is very tight. Shout out to SOS for making a precision part because this will never fall out. And that's one thing about um, aftermarket S2000 uh, fuel pumps is when you use the, uh, the OEM plastic clips, they like to fall out. I had my car tuned the first time and I, like it kept losing power on the top end because this wasn't secure, so shout out to Science of Speed. All right, so now we have to feed this. Uh, this is the return line, so we're gonna feed it down somewhere. Hopefully, my brother can find it. He's under oh, the car right now. This line is on the jack. Can you? Yeah. We got the line in there. Um, now we just gotta change out the. Uh... Hello, darkness, my old friend. A few moments later. <laughs> we have to change out the fuel pump hanger. You got a rag, Caden? Uh, that's the one I gave you earlier. It's over there, up top, up top, up top. Mm. <laughs> we got the new one in. We put over the clip, bro. Hold on. <laughs> we forgot the filter. Sipping, wood grain gripping. You know what I'm saying? Turn around and your holes be missing. <laughs> oh. Thanks. A Mexican thing. All right. So with the AP1 fuel pump, we have to use. Um, I guess this little uh, sandwich plate right here. So in order to use that, we have to clip off the tabs right here that were on the AP1 pump. So if not, it'll never fit. So we got that in. Yeah! I'm not done growing. Hey, your body parts grow, your dick don't grow. <laughs> yes, it do. Can't find it. yes it do. It do grow, all right? <laughs> it do grow. It's a Whoa. Hold on a minute. I might have to go. I'm thinking. That looks big. But it's still a dash six? Oh, yeah. Is it still a dash six? Yeah. 
It's, it's the same size. size. Um, where's the line has gone through. Huh? I think those are shorter too, bro. What's oh yeah, these are shorter. Right? That's gonna help you out. I like it. <clears throat> it's already tight, brother. <laughs> I got this piece of shit. I hand think that always the, has the size that I way. got was for the K series. Return fuel system activated. Hmm. All right, next, you're going to be doing the wiring on this. What the hell was this? All right. Did you touch it? Nobody's touched it. Final piece. No, like the entire car should. Like, is that the, the recorder? Yeah, you got it. No, okay, we the car shake. All you right, guys. All right, I guess that's it for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow again because it's late. Um, so we'll see you tomorrow on part two. What's up, guys? It's day two. So, um, what we're gonna do now is the relay wiring. What we want to do is clip off the the power for the fuel pump that goes to the car because we want this to go to the relay. So what we want to do is cut the power from the connector off and then wire it into here. What I'm going to use is these awesome Deutsch connectors. Make it clean, you know, no soldering needed. You're going to do what? So first, what we're going to do is deep in this. There you go. What you want to do is shove this in here at an angle and then pry the little clip up like so. Then we can put this back in because this is no longer powering it. We're going to need to power the relay. Plug this in. This little cover. Pull these wires back out. I love these uh these barrel pins, so dope. Close up. Mm -mm -mm. Sheesh. All right, so <clears throat> once you slip those in, um, you slide this piece in. Boop. It's all set. All set. Look at that. Clean. All right. So you're supposed to just, you know, let this go out and, you know, ground it. And then you're supposed to have another positive about this size too. But I want to make it really clean and have it come through here. So what I'm going to do is cut this. Here's the second one. guys so I cut the the ground wire back shorter and grounded it here since there was already a threaded bolt right here and looks like we're all set from this back end we just have to run the positive to the battery and we're all set 
All right, so the next step is I'm gonna have to fab up some brackets that go here. And they're both gonna sit in line like that. Just like how my mines work. So let's go do that. All right, got the bracket made. So let's put it in. This tool is the best tool ever. For these little pipe spots. Works like magic. Okay, you wanna get the board done with our fuel pump wiring. So this goes into the fuel pump, um, positive, and then this goes to the battery. Um, it goes into this breaker, and then from the breaker into the battery. So this is the, uh, the line that we created right here. That's our return line, and it goes up into the fuel pressure regulator. So all we have to do now is get two more of these um, 5 16 quick connects. That way we can connect this to the OEM feed line into the E85 um, or the flex fuel sensor and then from the flex fuel sensor out into the um, fuel filter and that'll be it that's it guys I hope this install you guys found this install valuable if you do um, make sure you smash that like button smash that subscribe button and remember, authenticity is king. Peace out. I love you guys. What is that? What? What? What is this? Go. You, you, you're killing my clip, bro. He's vlogging it. Not loud, bro.